Hey, Senator Olympia Snow has gotten plenty of attention from Senate Democrats in recent weeks. Hers was the lone Republican vote in favor of health care reform in the Senate Finance Committee. But she is not guaranteeing that she'll vote the same way when it comes to a vote on the Senate floor. Well, earlier today, Bloomberg's Al Hunt sat down with Senator Snow to discuss the latest on the health care overhaul. When do you think Congress will have a final up or down vote on this piece of legislation? Well, Christmas might be too soon. I mean, this is a very, it's a very difficult. So it may, it may slip over to the next year? Well, you know, there's always that possibility. I know that's not what the president uh, prefers or the and leader. You're not saying that's likely. No, saying. I'm just saying that that's, you know, I would, nothing would surprise me because of the complexity. But you We're doubt at this it will be done much before Christmas? Um, not much before. Wow, Al Hunt joins us right now from Washington. So, Al, Senator Snow didn't sound too confident that we'll see a vote anytime soon. Did you get, though, any indication from her which way she might be leaning on that final vote? Carol, I would be in such demand if I could definitively <laughs> answer that question. That's something that everybody from Barack Obama on down wants to know in this town. The answer, honestly, is not, not really. I'll tell you, reading between the lines, what came across, I think she really would like to vote for a health care bill this year. Uh, and I think that's the way, if any way, she's leaning, she's leaning that way, but, and there is a big but, uh, it cannot move too far to the left from what the Senate Finance Committee did. I think she feels adamantly about that. She will not accept a public option. So if they tailor it right, I think that she would like to vote for it. All right, so Al, we do know, though, that negotiations continue as the Senate moves toward a final version of the bill. Um, did Senator Snow, though, give you any you know, sense of kind of who's, being, who's involved in those discussions at this point? Well, it is not, as Barack Obama said, being broadcast on C-SPAN. Uh, it's being done instead behind closed doors. Certainly, the, the White House is intimately involved. White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel uh, is there uh, constantly. Uh, Harry Reid, Max Baucus, Chris Dodd, the heads of the committees are involved. Uh, and Olympia Snow is involved. They're not going to move without talking to Olympia Snow. Hey, uh, Senator Jim DeMint has suggested to fellow Republicans that they might be better off if they just let the Democrats go it alone. Uh, have you got any idea about Senator Snow's reaction to those comments, that suggestion? She thinks that's a bad idea. She thinks just saying no won't work anymore, that health care is an issue that is so big, there's such frustration, people may not approve of what they're trying to do or what they're doing, rather, but the idea of failing, she thinks, is going to hurt all members of Congress, including Republicans. Well, does Olympia Snow's uh, participation make it easier then, Al, for other Republicans to join in here? I think if Olympia Snow votes for a bill, she may well bring just a couple Republicans with her. More important, she provides cover for about a half dozen Democrats who otherwise might have real reservations about voting for it. They can claim it's a more centrist bill if Senator Snow supports it and it has bipartisan support even if it's only a couple Republicans. It's rare that one lawmaker has that kind of leverage. All right. Well, looking forward to the full interview. Al, thank you so much. Our Al Hunt in Thanks, Washington. Cal.